But these people of ISIS, do, they do not respect La ilaha illallah. They do not respect human life. They do not respect human life in Islam is worthier than Al Kaaba itself, as Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam describes to us. I don't think in any time of Islamic history we had such a challenge, which we need to unite ourselves now as Muslims, especially Muslim scholars, to fight. And here I would encourage Muslim governments, Muslim governments, to have scholars, councils of scholars, laying the policies how to fight ISIS. ISIS is a religious group, is an Islamic group. You cannot fight ISIS based on security alone. You cannot stop the spread of extremism based on the counsels given by security experts or intelligence experts or defense experts. You have to have Muslims, scholars telling you how to save the minds of our next generation from being brainwashed. War starts in the minds of people. War starts in the minds of people. We may defeat ISIS now, but if we don't defeat its ideology, we will have another generation coming to fight us again after a few decades. This is why it's time for Muslim governments to have scholars deciding on how to defeat the ideology of ISIS. And this would be only by reviving Sunni Islam, mainstream Islam, Islam of the four madhabs, Islam of tasawwuf, not Islam of tatarruf, Islam of rahma, Islam of hikmah. That Islam which survived for, 50, for 14 centuries will survive to the end of time. That Islam has a room for every human being. That Islam is have, has room for every difference. That Islam allows everyone to express his opinions with the best and most respected way. That Islam brings actually life, not death. Brings light, not darkness. And this is the Islam which we have. Jazakumullahu khayran. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.